antibiotics and COVID-19. What do you need to know about these two topics? Welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith, and we are talking to Dr. Hanan Balki today. Welcome, Hanan. Thank you, Vismita. Nice to be with you today. Hanan, explain antibiotics and why they are important. Antibiotics are um, therapies. They are uh, agents that we use to uh, treat infections. They could be for treatment of simple infections, like a, an infection in the finger from a, a cut or a, an injury, or infections of people who are in the hospital. Um, basically, Vismita, antibiotics are the reason why we have modern medicine today, and we can do very complex um, surgical interventions and save lives. Hanan, explain antibiotics resistance and why we should care about it. So antibiotics resistance is a characteristic of the bacteria themselves, not of the humans. A lot of people confuse the two. So when a bacteria, which is a living agent, it has one aim, which is survival. So it will do whatever it can to uh, change its genetic material to not become uh, susceptible to the antibiotic. So resistance uh, in simple terms is when the bacteria no longer is killed by the antibiotic. The reason why that is, is, is uh, concerning to us is if we uh, end up with no antibiotics to treat infections, we will basically be losing uh, significant advances in, med in health care uh, as we have it today. Explain to us, Hanan, why antibiotics and COVID-19 are a concern. Um, again, there's a lot of um, uh, misunderstanding or uh, not the uh, appropriate use of antibiotics taking place. And the more the bacteria are exposed to antibiotics through uh, treatments that are unnecessary, they will develop resistance. And with COVID, there's a very large uh, expansion in the number of patients with respiratory disease where uh, patients might feel the urge to take an antibiotic while in the reality is COVID is not a bacteria it's a virus and the use of these antibiotics will not treat them but it will create resistance among bacteria that already exist in our bodies so it's a very complex um, uh, scenario of Ismita, but, but the bottom line is antibiotics should not be prescribed unless there's a clear medical indication for them. So to sum it up, Hanan, could you tell us what is it that the public needs to know about COVID-19 and antibiotics? Uh, it's very important to realize that we do not need to give antibiotics to patients who are isolated with COVID-19 in their homes uh, because they have mild disease and uh, to only uh, be receiving antibiotics if they are significantly ill where the healthcare provider is suspicious of uh, on top of the COVID-19, the patient having a bacterial infection. And um, this needs to be done uh, by a prescription of a healthcare provider. Thank you, Hanan. There you have it. Dr. Hanan Balki explaining antibiotics and COVID-19. If you find this information useful, please share it with your networks and be the source of trusted evidence-based information. Until next time then, stay safe stay healthy, and stick with science.